what are the dependencies and how would you know the dependencies unless and until it is documented so they for that we use features so the key features of features is like you know for drupal 8 is like you can import export and it detects changes automatically so if you have made a feature it's a module in your local and you're making changes to it like say you have changed the title of the view you have added new fields it automatically detects that um, you can almost configure everything in features module to your need it has a modular ui it has a separate ui for features you can anytime enable it or disable it and the most important feature in drupal 8 is like you don't need a features modules in whatever site you want that configuration exported to in b7 we had that overhead that you know even the staging even the production should have a features module so that you can import all the features but in d8 that's not the case uh, we even have brush commands just seven commands like featured list featured differences export import revert and update And you know how to decide basically what to use, when to use CMI and when to use features. So if there are some simple site configurations which we need to export, we'll use CMI. But let's say if we have a complete feature like a photo gallery, a blog or a press room, in that case, we use features. So I've just done a small POC. Uh, not even a PSG, it's a demo, prototype kind of thing. So what I did is I basically made a gallery over here. I've used views, made a content type, add fields to it, I added an image style to it. And now I'll export it using features. So you have installed features module. Uh, we'll go here in features. So What I was saying is that everything is configurable. You can you know configure bundles over here. And over here you are seeing many options where you can you know configure settings. Like uh, over here you can explode what all you don't want to automatically detect or check. Over here they have automatically selected the features bundle. They don't want to detect changes in the features bundle. If you want to remove action, you want to remove simple configuration that the features module should stop detecting it. You can change it from here. Um, so here is my image gallery, which I've just created. If if you want the raw, the raw page usually comes without the first image gallery. We did it definitely. It has default comments, article, basic page, all by default. It checks that. And uh, over here, the status is uninstalled. One more feature of features in Drupal 8 is like, let's say I want to extend uh, the module which it created, right? I already made content type views from the front end. So I already have that configuration in my local. So even if I go over there and enable the same module, Let's say it's uh, my image gallery and install it. It won't create a problem. When you do it with the CMI, like say that you already have an existing configuration and you try to, you know, override it, it will, you cannot have two files of the same configuration basically. But in D8, features in D8, it's allowed. It won't show any configs. So you'll have two gallery now. Huh? You'll have two gallery now. No, I don't think so. There isn't two galleries. There's only one. Yeah, there's one. So even there are they have the same files and even if you enable it, there is no conflict in it. And what I did was like this same module like my image gallery. 
I imported in another instance. Okay, where was that? Okay, features example. I have the same thing over here. I just have to. Let's say add content. So you can check over here, it's all together different instance where I just you know imported my module uh, over here. Sorry, uh, Drupal features example, my image gallery, you just go and enable it and all your views, your image style, your content type, your fields get gets imported. And even when you check the module which the features create, it's a simple Drupal module. What differentiates it is this features.yml. Um, it, it's only written required true, and that's the you know basic difference between our features. That's how you know features gets to know that it's a feature, and you have to enable it. Even if you just delete this file and enable it, I don't think so. It's gonna make much difference. And. There is also a bundle functionality. So what I said was bundle was basically a namespace. So here you can create a new bundle, give it a name and all your module will be have a prefix with that name, whichever you created and you can export it using that. So I even have that over here. Mm. Yeah, check my image gallery. So if you check the features.yml file over here, it will have bundle check. So that's how it differentiates whether it belongs to a particular bundle or not. And the, sorry. What basically features module consists of a install file. And over here you have all the you know different YML config files, which basically runs when you enable the module or install. So yeah, that was it. Thank you.